good morning. Hope everybody's doing well. Welcome to what's going to hopefully be my very first studio vlog. I am sitting on the floor of my studio right now. And am I using my cat as set dressing? Yeah, I am. Mind your business. <laughs> but I thought this would be a cool month to do a vlog because usually I just sit at my desk and work and that's not very interesting. But next month, I am going to be tabling at Mocha Fest 2024 in New York City. I'm super excited about it. But a fun thing about me is that I've never been relaxed in my entire life. So while I'm really excited about it, I'm also super anxious about it. I tabled four times last year. I had a really good time, but they were all definitely smaller events than what this is going to be. For me, this is a pretty big deal. I, I just want to do a good job and I want I don't want to go there and look bad compared to these amazing artists. So I, I'm actually working this month to make a couple new products for my shop. I also am going to get some Rizzo prints ordered. I think I want to make an 11 by 17 print. And then I think I'm going to make a little 5 by 7 print. But yeah, that's all on the agenda this month. And then just general uh, getting the store ready, traveling to New York City, which is going to be really exciting. It's going to be a lot. If you're an artist working at home, looking for somebody to chill out with, or you just want to see more about what my day-to-day -day studio life is, you know, say if I make it to Mocha Fest without being a complete ball of anxiety. I literally, the finished exhibitor list came out the other day. I thought I was going to throw up. Such accomplished, amazing artists. And I'm just, I'm just me. You have any thoughts? There you go. Oh my god. So I've gotten a lot of work done this week. I sent my Rizzo prints out. I'm having myself a little Friday coffee treat. And I think now, today, I'm mostly just going to be doing graphic novel stuff. Sometimes I find it hard to balance all of my projects. I have these really long projects, like the graphic novel, I'm not going to be finished with the art until January of 2025. 11 months from now, that's shorter than I oh my god, it's gonna sneak up on me so bad. But I'm doing those kind of things. And then I'm also doing these like short term like mocha fests and events. And they're really exciting. And they're like right in my face. So I feel like I have to really work to make sure that I'm putting the time I need to be into the graphic novel because I feel like it's something that could really easily just slip away from me. And then I'm cramming for like, my whole Christmas season this upcoming year working on cover art today, which like, I've been dreading. It just feels so scary. It's like the cover of the book. It's like the first thing people are going to see. And I know, you know, people tell you not to judge a book by its cover, but like, come on, let's all be real. Like we definitely do it. So yeah, I'm just trying to come up with like five different sketches for that, making some edits and hopefully we'll be getting into inking soon, which is exciting. Unfortunately, I can't really show you a lot of the graphic novel stuff because it's secret. Hopefully, I'll be able to share it all with you very, very soon. So yeah, I'm just going to get to work. They look so good on camera. Hi. <laughs> Do you notice anything different? I hate showing the back of my head, but... The day before yesterday, I finally got to get in and get my bandanas printed. 
<laughs> okay, wait, let me grab one. This is like the peachy orange color. Whoosh. I am so pleased with how these came out. We printed these ourselves. Shout out to my husband for helping me print. Um, and we got them done at this really cool place in Cleveland called Future Inc. Graphics. So if you're local, um, they're really cool people. I'm so pleased with these. They look hand printed, which some people might think is bad, but I kind of really like. But yeah, I got this color. And then we also have, we have the blue, which I'm wearing. And then we have this like khaki natural color. And then we also have this like mint, which I'm actually liking a lot better than I did earlier. So yeah, these are gonna be up in my store and I'm also gonna be taking a bunch of these to Mocha Fest and uh, I'm just really excited about them. I hope that they do well because I'm pretty pleased with them. I'll definitely be wearing mine at Mocha. I'll probably make my husband wear his too, so. I think I'm probably just gonna spend the rest of today taking some product photos. I keep waiting for it to be sunny to take photos with natural light, but it is like, it's been raining for like three days straight. So I just don't think it's gonna happen and I'm tired of waiting. So I'm just gonna take some crummy photos and maybe when it's sunny, I'll take some better ones. So yeah, talk to you later. Hello, welcome to my living room. Um, you are currently sitting on my con table uh, because today I'm going to do a dry run of my Mocha Fest table. The reason I'm doing a dry run is because I have a bunch of new art that I'm trying to sell and I just want to make sure it all fits. I'm also doing a four foot table um, and I've done a three foot table before and I've done a six foot table before, but I, I haven't done a four foot. I actually emailed Mocha and asked if I could upgrade to a six foot, but I don't think that's going to happen. So I'm just going to make the four foot work and I'll probably put myself on a little time lapse while I do this. Okay, so I literally did a time lapse of the whole thing and then my phone died a minute in. So I don't have any time lapse for you, very sorry. But this is, I think, what we're working with. I went taller than I normally do um, just because I wanted to make sure there was enough space for the bandanas. I still have like a wrapping thing. Oh, hi, Flea. Um, I still need to put wrapper thing on these and I need to like reorganize all this and then this is my QR code and my business cards are gonna go where Flea's sitting right now. Say hi! And we got the isopods. I also have these like hand-painted ornaments that I made last year that I think I'm gonna put on these hooks. They didn't sell very well but I, I guess it doesn't hurt to put them up. And then this is my misprints bucket. It doesn't actually have misprints in it right now but just wanted to make sure it worked space-wise. I usually have a lot of misprints. And then this we accept sign is going to get hung next to the price whiteboard. And then I got my stickers down on the table. My tablecloth needs to be ironed like so badly. So that's probably what I'll do once I put all this away. But I think that looks good. I, I, it's nice to have a plan before I go of what my table is going to look like. All right, I thought it could be fun to just do a little voiceover here while I have some B-roll of me putting the collars on these bandanas. It's funny because I'm actually filming this after Mocha Fest and sort of looking back, and I have to say, man, I was really going through it this week. I just feel like everything that could have gone wrong, like, went wrong. Things were just, like, not working out for me. And I was, on top of that, like, really anxious about going to Mocha Fest. So my mom made this adorable like felt banner to go with my table and she had sent it to me through FedEx and I don't know why because the instructions in the order said to call me and please not leave the package out on the street and the door in front of my apartment building says like please do not leave packages on the street like FedEx we're talking to you and still they threw my package out on the street and took a picture of it on the sidewalk of the busy street that I live on and I saw it 15 minutes after it had been delivered I saw the picture and I ran downstairs um and it had it had already been stolen so that, I feel like that just bums me out so bad because my mom worked very hard on it and it was so cute and like also, it's just weird to think that now somebody is just wandering around with a banner with my first and last name on it. So this is a long shot, but if you're the person who stole my banner, um, please give it back. My mommy made it and it's also useless to you because it has my name on it. 
Uh, <laughs> it's funny now, but like when it happened, you know, I felt really bad and kind of pretty bummed out about it. But I have to say, I really like how these bandana collars turned out. And this is maybe a spoiler for the upcoming part of this video, but I did actually end up selling out entirely of all of my bandanas. So if you bought one, thank you. And if you missed the opportunity to get one, don't worry, because I actually have a pre-order up on my website for the next print run. So, you know, if you're interested, feel free to check it out. And yeah, thanks so much. Okay, it's a little tight, but I think I actually got pretty much everything in one box. There is not a single bit of empty space. The only thing that didn't fit were my 11 by 17 prints, which are in there, um, but I'll just carry that. That's not too big a deal, but yeah. Oh my god, this view- <laughs> and we are home if i look a little tired we this is just the Monday after Mocha Fest, we just got in at like 1 a.m. last night. Yeah, I I've just been sleeping all day. It was so warm in New York, but it's actually like snowing and freezing in Ohio. Yeah, so I thought it would be fun to do a Mocha Fest haul. Before I do, I really just wanted to say to everybody who came and to everybody who stopped by the table, like, thank you. Thank you so, so much. This is not like cute vlog content, but... I was so, I was so nervous. I was so anxious to go to this event. I work myself up so badly and I just tell myself that there's no way I'll be able to look good next to all of these amazing artists and that I really should just cancel. And I just, I wanted to cancel so badly. I mean, I, I really wanted to go, but I just, I, I didn't think I could do it. I was so anxious to get the response that I did really really what meant a lot to me we ended up selling out of tons of things i realized i did not bring enough stuff i sold out of stickers i stole it out of multiple print designs i sold out of zines i sold out of bandanas i sold every single one on the display if you stop by if you purchase something if you just had a kind word for me like seriously it made a huge difference this week and having a weekend like this really reminds me like why I do what I do. And so from the bottom of my heart, thank you very much. I The most humblest and sincerest of thank yous. Let's leave the bummers behind. Let's get into the haul. So I actually have a bonus haul before the Mocha Fest haul. I didn't vlog this, but on Friday, I actually got to go to my publisher's office, Holiday House Publishing, and meet my editor in person, which was really, really cool. And she sent me home loaded with tons of books for me to read. I also got to meet a few other people from the office, and it was just a really sweet, great experience. So I got... She sent me home with so many books. Um, this is called The Selkie's Daughter by Linda Crotta Brennan. And let's see, who, who did the cover art? The jacket illustration is by Maxine V, and it is a beautiful cover. 
I also got a couple of their I Like to Read comic series books. So I got Market Day by Miranda Harmon. This is such an adorable cover. I also got Mossy and Tweed Double Trouble by Marka Hokanen, who I've actually met on Zoom before. Um, she's super cool and her art is just so fun and sweet for these like I like to read series. Gold foil. I have to show you some of the the art in this because it is mind blowing. It's just so beautiful. This book is stunning. I'm really excited to have this in my collection. And I also got The Voice in the Hollow by Will Hillenbrand. So cute. Oh my God. So thank you very much, um, Della and Holiday House. I had such a great time and I'm just really grateful to be able to publish my graphic novel with like a really cool group of people. So that is the Holiday House Hall. So let's get into the Mocha Fest Hall. So to start things off, um, this first one is from my table neighbor, Yao Zhao. Um, they are just an amazing comics artist, storyteller. I I'm in love with their work. I was actually following them before Mocha Fest, and I was so excited to be seated next to them. They are so amazingly talented. And yeah, this book is gorgeous. It's got that gold foil, which I'm a sucker for. And yeah, I, I just can't recommend their work enough. My husband actually picked up this chunky manga called Okinawa by Susumu Hima. This is a gorgeous hardback book. I, I understand why he picked this up. I mean, it's stunning. I definitely can't wait to read this. Okay, so that's the books I got. So let's get into like prints. Okay, this is another one that my husband picked up. He got these three drawings. I believe they're all from the same artist. The title, I couldn't find them online, but... It says J.Mai as the artist. So there was this one, this adorable Breath of the Wild print, or I guess this is technically Tears of the Kingdom because Zelda has her short hair. And then he also picked up, I think this artist must have had a two, buy two, get three free um, because he also got this like Zelda through the ages print, which is adorable. I also picked up this print by Megan Wang. I got this. This is the display copy of this print. I'm so excited I got this. Um, this is Tea for Three by Junjun Chen. I feel like the camera does not even do this justice. Look how stunning. It's beautiful. This is from Christian Blaza. The glare is not helping me here. Oh, there we go. Yeah beautiful print and then these next two are from ren mcdonald i got to chat with him a little bit i think on saturday um super cool person super cool artist i am a sucker for these like super detailed risograph prints i definitely want to up my rizzo game in the future this was a very inspiring weekend for that um this one's also from ren i also picked up this lord of the rings print from natalie Andrewson. they did the like promo art for mocha fest um and they did just like a stunning wall job they did that like banner wall that i sh showed earlier in the video and i'm a huge lord of the rings fan so you know i had to get this and this is risograph as well and it is just so beautiful this is another one i picked up and i do not have the artist's name and it's killing me flora by. oh okay flora by flora by art.com we also got this like really beautiful bookmark oh this is like a little comic zine that i picked up by z lu very cool uh this is i had to get the metro cat from radia radia ramon on youtube i i cannot remember this artist's name i know their instagram handle it's like cool potato kid i'll, I'll put their name up for sure but i love this little just be you sticker this is like one of my most favorite moments from the weekend, but an artist came up to my table and told me that they had been following me online for a while and gave me this little gift with like a handwritten note and it was genuinely just so sweet and thoughtful. It, I definitely cried like a few weepy tears over this. Um, so Yepenny, thank you so very much for thinking of me and it was just so sweet and thoughtful. So, and also look at their art. Isn't that adorable? And some stickers. Oh, so adorable. And it was really just so, so sweet to think of me like that. And thank you so, so much. I 
I literally have more stickers and more little stuff that I completely lost in the five minutes that I had it all out for my <laughs> for my haul part of this video. So hopefully editing me will come back with some more stickers and stuff like in here, please. Okay, so I found the stickers I was missing. So the one on the far left, that is from Hey Hey Sue on Instagram. She also did like a bunch of the promo art for Mocha Fest. And then this cute little bear is by Big Bear Damien on Instagram. And then this little black cat is from Allison Olivia Moon. But other than that, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me and going on this like emotional roller coaster of going to this event. I had a blast. I hope to get a table next year. I also just today like applied for a couple other events similar to this. So we'll have to wait and see if I get into those. This was definitely my first vlog and it shows. I definitely need to film more of the stuff I'm actually doing is my number one takeaway from all of this. It was really fun. It, I know it wasn't perfect, but it was really fun kind of like recording this process and getting to share it with you. So I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and take care. I'll see you soon. Bye.